Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn the answer of this question. What are the alternatives of source transformation if our source is a SQL Server and we need to use merge join for multiple sources? So what we are learning in this question, if we are using SQL Server as our source and we do not want to use a source transformation, what are our options? So let's go to the SSDT or bids, whatever you have, create a new package and then bring the data flow task as the transformations are going to be in the data flow task. So in this case, uh, what we see here, uh, we are going to read the data from multiple sources. Those are going to be SQL server sources and then use the merge or merge join uh, to demonstrate this uh, property uh, that's called is sorted. So we are going to read uh, the data from server one and then uh, we have table that's called customer table and uh, it has uh, ID, first name, last name, address, phone number and other columns. I'm going to go back here, preview the data. So it is giving us uh, some data. Now let's bring uh, the second source and that's also OLEDB source and we are connecting to SQL server and we are connecting to SQL server two. And we are going to read the data from customer table that uh, customer underscore as that has the same columns what we have seen in the customer table from server one now the next part is that we want to join the merge or merge join anything you use it they, they both need the sorted input data so let's uh, get the merge uh, for this demonstration and see how it works so if i write it here what's going to happen it is asking okay what is the input one next uh, input to I connected it now what it is telling us the input merge one or input merge uh, input two have sort key position assigned to their columns incorrectly so it's not going to work uh, till we don't sort the data so sort the data what we have to do we have to go back here instead of using just the table straight from here we need to use a SQL command what I'm going to do here I'm going to come here uh, to this SSMS and create uh, the query for this table right click on the table go to the script and go to the select and new query that's the, the that's the way I write my queries if there I have a lot of columns I don't want to write it uh, hand uh, type it uh, so that's how I can get it uh, go to the SSDT paste your query here preview it looks good uh, let's do the same thing for this one but our table name is customer underscore as so remember that one we will make change in the query and we say customer underscore as preview the data we don't have join key here but we have join column here different name but that's fine now what I did here in the first one I didn't uh, do anything really I just pasted my select query but what we have to do here we have to say order by and in this case let's say we are ordering by ID the same thing uh, what we need to do we need to go back to the previous source and put the order by on the same column in both cases we have the same column that uh, we are uh, sorting we are using order by next step is the uh, click on the OLEDB source and go to uh, show advanced editor and then uh, go to the input and output properties and click on uh, OLEDB source output and here you will see that is sorted is false what we are telling you by enabling this one like we have in uh, already sorted a data inside our SQL query so set it to true now click here and uh, go to the output columns and then uh, click on the column which uh, which you use in the order by so we have used only the id so i'm going to click on id and then uh, say sort position so i'm going to put one here that's the first column we are using and now we go to the second oledb source advanced editor go to input and output properties click on oledb source output is sorted true then go to the output columns and then select the column which is you have sorted and this is the first column that we use in the sort order and or, or order by hit okay now if you see here the mer uh, the cross sign is gone and the merge looks good double click on this one so we can see if the columns are mapped correctly 
wherever the column names are exactly the same in both of the inputs so they will be mapped automatically but here see join key is the, uh, the column coming from uh, source one and uh, we have join uh, column that's uh, different uh, that's coming from two so we have to map manually so always remember it to go back and always check your mapping before you hit ok or uh, this doesn't tell like ok if error is gone that's mapping is correctly so that's not uh, true now the next part is uh, bring the multicast transformation here and we can see our output we can put uh, data where between uh, the merge join and merge and the uh, multicast uh, the purpose of multicast is just for the test purpose so I could uh, uh, place the data viewer and show you the data in, in real time you will be writing the data to the destination such as Excel or flat file or uh, some table let's run SSIS package and we can see that we are getting the sorted output data and uh, that's how you will be setting the property is sorted true if you are reading the data from a um, SQL server table you will put the query with order by and uh, have those columns here and then go to advance and set the property sorted true and then you have to go to the column output column and uh, uh, where it says sort key and you have to provide the index like one uh, for for the column where, where, where whichever you are using it so uh, that's pretty much it for this video and i will see you guys in next video